Starting your Locker Natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a Black-owned company that has created an all-natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Insider. I am Ungil Zalalem, bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Zambia. A pastor by the name of James Sakara is dead because he wanted to be buried alive to prove to his congregation that he will rise after three days. And guess what? He did not. He was found dead. So now the police are charging and arresting the people that are involved, the church members that buried him alive. I'm shocked that I, I'm even reporting on this. A Zambian pastor buried alive, thinking that he will rise from the dead like Jesus. That's what he said, actually. He said, I am going to be buried alive like Jesus and rise up after three days and I'll show you a miracle. That miracle didn't happen. And I want to clarify, Jesus was not, according to Christianity and the Bible at least, he was not buried alive. He died on the cross and then got buried. So the theology is off there. <sighs> yeah, this man is dead now. And the church members are arrested because of his foolishness. This is really sad. This is really sad. Last time I reported, I believe it was a Zimbabwean uh, youth minister that said, I want to fast 40 days and 40 nights like Jesus. And he went to the wilderness and died. It's really sad. It really is sad. I don't know why people, uh, it's hard for me to judge because, you know, faith and spirituality and religion is a personal thing it's an individual thing and everybody has to go through what they go through and they have to you know decide for themselves it's it's a personal choice right but this man as for this man it was not a personal choice because he involved his church members now they are arrested and now they will spend years of their lives behind bars for what because this man wanted to prove a point and what point is that even like he says he wanted to imitate jesus he wanted to do what jesus did and that's not what Jesus did, according to the Bible. And this guy is supposed to be a pastor. This guy is supposed to know what he's teaching people. This shows me that he, does, he didn't even know what he's preaching. He doesn't even know what happened in the religion that he's claiming that he's a pastor for. Like, it just... It's, it's, it doesn't sound right to me that a pastor would go do that if he is really indeed a pastor for that religion and in that religion there's nowhere that said that he was buried alive so eh, yeah this this story is really get to me because these people are confusing other people and they're confused themselves you know if it's a personal thing okay but if you're involving other people and misleading them and in this case sending them to jail and you yourself lose your life i find this incredibly sad but at the same time, other people are not learning from this people's mistake. Like these stories have been happening all over the world. And it's like some people just don't want to internalize the fact that some people are just not mentor materials, pastor materials, teacher materials. They just don't know for themselves. And they're just leading people to this crazy cultish behavior. And things that are not good for you are just being taught by this false teachers it's really sad i am i i am sad for him too because he's dead unfortunately but um you know the innocent people the church believers that wanted to help their pastor you know uh, execute this miracle are now going to prison as well it's really sad anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about this pastor that wanted to be buried alive so that he can rise after three days and was founded i am ongil zalal i'm bringing you this report i will see you on the next one bye join me on the fourth annual homecoming and pilgrimage to sierra leone 
on December 28, 2021 through January 9, 2022. We will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports. For more details, check out our website, sierraleonepilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Ham Lifestyle Vlogs, because we all need an Africa escape plan.